Now let's take a look at practice problem 5-4. Again, we have a truss. It has four loads on it, and it's metric, so everything will be in kilonewtons this time, and all the dimensions will be in meters. Again, with MD solids, it doesn't really matter. Um, the units don't show up yet when we do this analysis. They will if we calculate things later on. So switch over to MD solids, click on the truss, new truss, my horizontal spacing is 6 meters, my vertical spacing is 8 meters, I only need one space for my horizontal spacing, and I only need two spaces for my vertical spacing. And there doesn't look quite the same because it's all stretched out, but trust me, it is. Okay, I begin to create my members. Again, drag and drop each member. And I've got two diagonal braces that go here and that is all next I can create the supports supports are done now I can click on the loads I have 100 kilonewtons here I also have 100 kilonewtons there, and in this location, in this location, I have 10 kilonewtons, and in this location, I have 20 kilonewtons. All my loads that are shown will now be in kilonewtons. Click Compute, and there are all the members in the truss. And notice, now you're seeing the effect of having side loads on that pin. Okay. Don't be disturbed if you see a load with zero in it. That load still needs to be there, even though it's not really taking a strain. Again, the next step is you can print this. You can also save it, which is not a bad idea, although you can see it only takes a minute or two to rebuild this. Okay, And submit that into your assignment. Cancel. It's trying to do another load. Compute and you are done. That is good to go. That analysis is complete, and this is your final answer.